Hi everybody, what's up? It's your boy Sleepy Boy here with another episode of you know, Soccer Succubus. If you're new to this channel, please, or if you're not, just you know, watch this video or subscribe, like, comment down below to continue supporting this channel. Other than that, thank you for clicking on this video and let's get back to the game. Yeah, I would be at least if this didn't feel so awkward. I'd want to keep the truth about my myriad relationships hushed up, but it feels like the members of my succubus harem are revolting against me. First, Ifumi announced her feelings for me live on TV. Who does that? Who, who does that, man? Who does that? Then Marlon and Hazel clung to me at the airport in front of the paparazzi, and now... Hiroki is actually dating the super famous actress Yamamoto Hifumi and the very mature, incredibly scary CEO Wakatsuki Marna. But despite having all these wonderful women at his beck and call, he still makes a lot of time for me too. Oh my god, that is wild. That is wild. Think about it. I'm like thinking if I was Hiroki. I mean, I'd be, I'd be, ha I'd be happy. Oh no, I'd be like, oh cool, I have these beautiful women. That's a harem, right? Uh, but at the same time, what if you're in this situation and they just the world now knows? And we know how the world goes, man. I know how I know people are jelly. I'm I'm jelly. That's pretty much it. So yeah, I beg your pardon. Nani? The announcer looks floored by this unexpected announcement. As well he might. I wouldn't believe the words spilling from Hazel's mouth either if she didn't look so very earnest about it all. It's crazy enough that there's a man out there who could win the heart of Yamamoto Hifumi, but Wakatsuki Marna? Hazel Williams? That really does sound like too much. Isn't one incredibly famous beautiful woman enough for this man? If I wasn't Ogasawara Hiroki, I'd want to tear out his throat with my teeth. I'm such a jerk. Is this Hiroki really as popular as all that? He really is. He's very, very popular and it's well deserved. He has this way of talking to people, you see, that makes him feel so, I don't know, loved, I guess. When we're together, I really do feel like I matter and it doesn't hurt that he smells so good either. He, he does? That is, um, uh, truly interesting. Ah, oh, gee, since Hazel's replies are being translated by the bemused looking interpreter. Interpreter? What the hell, Sleepy? What is that word? Interpreter. Interpreter? The whole stadium's going to know about my supposed scent now. This is just great. If I were, if it were possible to die from embarrassment, I think I'd kill over. There's only so much public praise I can take before it starts feeling like an exercise in public humiliation. Is Hazel enjoying all of this? Yes. Does she know how awkward this is making me feel? Yes. Part of me thinks that she doesn't. She does know this full well, and she simply doesn't give two shizes. Hazel's not as sad as like Marna, but she's always enjoyed making me squirm, especially in bed. Whoa, whoa, sleepy! What you talking about? Hey, Roki smells. Roki smells very nice. Yeah, it's better. It's better in an. It's better in a scented candle. Hey, <laughs> he. When we're together, and I get a good sniff of him, I I go weak at the knees. Maybe that's why I like him so much. Hazel seems to ponder this for a moment, for a few moments, while the audience murmurs amongst themselves. The audience be like, I wanna kill this person, whoever this guy is. This guy got a harem of hot women that are all successful in their careers. My man is living the dream. Somebody, somebody go find him and send a hit out on him, you know what I'm saying? I can't hear what they are all saying, but I'd be prepared to bet good money. The, wor the words, what, you know, the nani, the, and kuso. We'll be seeing a lot of views. I think this event is being publicly televised too. Not just in Astoria, but internationally. Because it is a tennis championship tournament, most likely. This tennis tournament's a big deal and a lot of famous names are here. Will people be listening to this all across Europe? America? Hell, what about Japan? I say internationally, uh, all the continents. If they have a TV and they have a sport related, you know, like tennis. Will my dad see this? I know he's a big fan of Hazel Williams. He's, he's more into tennis, in fact, than I am. Ah, oh, this is so awkward. I stare at Hazel, willing to st willing her to stop talking. But alas, I'm no telepath, and there's nothing I can do to shut her up. Not now. She's on a roll. She's out of control, man. I've never been su super serious about any of my past relationships, but I am serious about Hiroki. I like him a whole bunch, and I hope we can stay together for a real long time. He's super cute, you see. And when we're together, I really do feel like I can do anything. Damn. Announce to the world. Literally Lelouch right here. Now I'm the villain. Or rather Hiroki. Later that night. 
I'm gonna have to censor a lot of this. Woo! Today's tournament was like so much fun. I'm still buzzing. I'm so hyped. I just can't sit still. I can see that, yes, you don't need to tell me as much. You were fiddling with your cutlery something fierce at the dinner table like a small child. And now we're retreated to our rooms, you keep jiggling about it. Watching you is tiring me out. Heh! Are you sure you don't feel tired, Barna? Because you're getting on in years? Maybe I'm too young and spry and energetic for you to deal with. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Why you? Marna's right eye twitches, as it so often does when the taboo topic of her age comes up. I'm used to Ayu making thoughtless comments about me, but this is new low coming from you. Is this a roundabout way of asking to be punished, Hazel? Oh, oh, oh no. Hazel demurs at this, her fingers curled together at her front, a visible droplet of sweat forming on her brow. Uh, I'm good on the punishment front, really, yeah. You've already made your point, Marna, so you don't gotta discipline me, not now nor never. Good. Marna cracks her knuckles ominously. So I'm sorry for the huge, like, sensor screen. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, like, add that in, you know, but they're in, in, they're in a suit that is not eligible for YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let us hope for both our sakes it remains that way. I don't enjoy being cruel to you. I hope you know that. Yeah, yeah, sure. You sure could have fooled me, Marina. If I'm harsh on you, it's because you invited by failing to behave as an adult ought to. You need to learn some decorum. Marina sighs while toying with a strand of her pale hair. I'd hoped staying in a palace might drum some respectability into you, but you seem every bit as wild, a bit of wild as always. The princess's manner haven't rubbed off on you in the slightest. That'll be, because, that'll be because rather than spending time with Steffi, Hayes has been too busy going on dates with his haughty receptionist with, with his, with his haughty receptionist instead. I murmured this under my breath so quietly, nobody seems to notice, nobody except Ifumi that is. He enters peak, Ifumi examines me while resting a finger against her lower lip. What? What receptionist? Never mind. I'm guessing Hazel has been keeping her affair with Lily a, sec a secret, most likely because Marna would chastise her about it if she knew. As a succubus, Hazel is, su Hazel is supposed to keep her true identity hidden, but as an incorrigible blabbermouth, she isn't the best at this. Marna's probably worried, and rightly so, I think, that the more pretty girls Hazel seduces, the higher the chances are that she'll out the true nature of her existence to them. I don't think this has happened just yet, but it never hurts to be careful. It's a shame careful isn't a word- wait, did I? Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame careful isn't a word that seems to exist in Hazel's vocabulary. She's always been so brazen. Literally, just like last episode, she like blurted out, Oh yeah, this guy is my boyfriend and I'm confirming it now. He has a harem. These are the women that he has, uh-huh. He, he has a scent of him. We do lovey-lovey-dovey stuff, blah blah blah. He's as brazen when she plays tennis sand, tennis sands underwear in her succubus attire. He's the skimpiest of all the succubi I know, which given how much skin they expose, is quite the accomplishment. Hazel is wearing her succubus attire right now, in fact, as her Marna in Infumi. It's been a few hours since Hazel stepped off the tennis courts, courts and she's taken on her succubus form to relax. But Hazel looks full of energy all the same. The adrenaline hit which came from her unquestioned victory mustn't have faded away just yet. Ah, uh, Hazel sighs and stretches her toned arms raised above her head. So, today really was a blast though. I had such a great time. I feel like we've got to celebrate my victory just a little. I don't want to spend the night cooped up indoors. To celebrate? Ifumi blinks? And how do you plan to do that exactly? If you want to drink, I would have to veto that to veto that idea. Huh? But why? Why can't I drink if I wanna? You and Ifumi do it all the time. I know we do, but Ifumi and I are unlike, unlike you, mature adults. We know our own tolerances and when to call qu it quits. You on the other hand, Marna looks Hazel up and down, her lip curling, are a menace. A menace? Yes indeed. You're difficult enough to deal with sober, let alone drunk. If you drink too much, you would probably begin to assault Stefania's maids and then we would be cast out of the palace in disgrace. I don't want to spend my night prizing you away from a bunch of pretty skirted innocents. Boo. Boo. Hazel pouts her fingers curling to fists upon the sheets. Does that really sound like something I would do? Yeah. 
Yes, it does. You know it does. You always ha you already have trouble keeping your hands to yourself. Your in inhibitions don't need to be lowered further still. I'm afraid I must agree with Marna here. While I do not condemn you for your excess energy, Hazel, I don't want you getting into trouble. It would it would be a poor way to cap off your success today, don't you think? Ah, uh, you two you two are like so boring. Don't let me have any fun. On the contrary, I let you have just as on the contrary, I let you have just as much fun as is permissible. I stopped short, however, on condoning assault. Hmm. Hazel's pow deepens. I guess you're trying to look out for me in your own way. Indeed I am. You may say whatever you wish about me, but I do at least care. But I'm starting to think I'd have more fun hanging out with Ayu and Cosmos. They're not so stuffy. That's because Ayu and Cosmos are still children. Ayu in particular can be awfully immature, though she is very sweet. I've been wondering actually how she's been getting along in our absence. Hope she isn't missing us too much. Ifumi might be none the wiser as to Cosmos and Ayu's feelings, but I'm pretty glued in on them. Cosmos told me herself in that dream she sent me that Ayu had been missing me and badly. Ayu tried to refute this, but her flushed face made the truth readily apparent. Ayu's a lot more sensitive than she likes to let on. I think she might be the most delicate member of my whole harem in fact. Well since drinking's out, Hazel rises from the bed stretching and transforms her succubus attire melting away to be replaced with her black pants and her puffy coat. Maybe we could go for a walk, just you and me. What do you think about that, Hiroki? You want to spend some time together. Well, why not? You are my beloved, you know, as I believe I made quite a plain back at the stadium. <laughs> you did make it quite plain, yes. As I sigh as I recall the passion of Hazel's earlier address, my shoulders slumping beneath the pressure of it all. I wonder what Lily made of all that. She must have been pissed. Oh, I'm sure she'll get over it. I told her I didn't want anything exclusive. Now, Hazel bows over to me then th twines her arm through my own. You wanna come with me? It's pretty chilly out there, but I can always warm you up and the moon does look very pretty. It's way too nice to just sit indoors. I wanna live my life, darn it. You have so much energy, I think you live enough for five people. I shoot Hazel a sideways glance as a, an amused smile playing about my lips. But sure, I suppose going for a walk is better than harassing Steffi's maids. Hey! Hazel nudges me in the side with her elbow. Why Why do you think I'd harass Steffi's maids? Oh, I don't know, it seems like the kind of scurrilous pursuit you might get involved in. Yeah, that's a... Uh... That's a Hazel Williams standard right there. That's like the branding of Hazel. I concur. You have no sense of propriety. Oh damn it, propriety, Hazel. If any member of our retinu, retine, retinu, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Was to harass dear Stefania's maid. Was to harass dear Stefania's maids. It would most likely be you. Not, of course, that I think you would stoop so low. Not with Hiroki around, at least. It should be able to hold you back. Jeez, you guys are all so mean to me. It's like you don't trust me at all. Whose side are you even on, Hiroki? I don't know. The side of justice, maybe? Are you saying I'm unjust? You would be if you started making moves on Steffi's maids. I am not gonna make any moves on any maids. Uh, sure, yeah. Hazel scowls. That's grossly hypocritical. Hypocritical. Hypocr hypocritical. Hypocritical, anyways, given everything you've been up to with Elizabeth, you're the real philanderer here, not me. Uh, uh, touche. Says one, uh, says one who, you know, like her. Takes one to no one, pretty much. Oh, I guess he's just not wrong on that score. I have gotten pretty up close and personal with Elizabeth, literally. Not that Hazel knows about all the finer details. Maybe I really am a hypocrite. Jeez. Not for the first time, I find myself pondering how hard being popular is. My company is in, is in near constant demand, not I suppose that it's inherently a bad thing. It can be pretty exhausting, but there's something soothing to about being so adored. At least I never have cause to feel lonely. I don't have the time for it. I really have become quite beloved. Damn, Hiroki being beloved, curse you man, this guy. Ah, uh, the night air is so cool and refreshing, don't you think so, Hiroki? I'm not sure if refreshing is quite the right word for it. 
I glanced about the palace's gardens, my teeth chattering all the while. It was at Hazel's continued in insistence that I came outdoors, but I'm starting to regret it. It's pretty late at night and the sky overhead is dark as pitch, spattered here and there with stars. The moon, meanwhile, is large and full, just like a saucer full of milk. The way the ghostly moonlight plays upon the treetops, all shifting the breeze is quite pretty, I suppose, but not even the prettiness of the night sky is enough to distract me from how good cold it is. I don't know what the precise temperature is, but it's cold enough that I can feel goose flesh beginning to ripple along my arms. There's a bit of a breeze too, which tugs at the hem of my shirt and tussles my hair. I'm afraid if we don't cut our nighttime mendering short, I'll wind up catching a cold. I am but a feeble human, weak in flesh and in spirit, and I can only endure so much of this arctic weather. Hazel, for her part, seems completely heedless of the cold, though she's wearing her far fewer layers than I am. Hazel might be clad in a pair of pants, but they ride low about her hips, and they reveal an awful lot of her smooth, toned stomach. How can she bear to wander around with so much skin on display? I thought we were recording. I'm baffled. Because if we weren't, I'll be sad. Then again, I'm similarly baffled by her staunch, stalwart refusal to wear underwear even while playing professional tennis matches. As a succubus, she might be somewhat beyond my comprehension. Hey, uh, Hiroki. Smiling deviously, Hazel sid sidles up to me or sidles up to me, then winds one of her arms through mine. The moon looks super pretty tonight, don't you think? Oh? I look up at the night sky and the moon which hangs in it large and celestial. I was so caught up with how bitingly cold the weather is, I wasn't paying mo the moon too much heed. Now that Hazel mentions it, though the moon does look rather pretty, it's the sort of moon you'd expect a poet to devote an epic to. Or something. I'm no poet so I wouldn't know and neither is Hazel. Poetry seems more like Kifumi's domain. It's pretty, yeah, but I didn't expe expect you of all people to come out with a line like that. No? No way, I didn't think you were the sort to get all sappy about the beauties of the natural world, mm hmm Oh yeah? Pouting Hazel nudges me inside with her elbow. What sort of Philistine do you take me for anyway? I can too appreciate the moonlight when I'm in the right mood. And you're in the mood for it tonight, I guess. I'm in the best of moods. Playing in that tournament earlier was like so much fun, I had a real blast. Vitolina was a pretty fierce opponent. She didn't make things easy for me out there. I really had my work cut out for me. Did you now? My brow furrows. From what I saw, you looked like you had a tournament in the bag. You seemed totally cool and in control. Maybe I seemed that way, but it was pretty insane. She had me running all around the court. She was the pushover. Maybe not, but you gave us good as you got and then some. Your victory was rather decisive. Well, of course, I don't push myself day after day to just roll over and lose. When I play, I play to win in all aspects of life. Though I always have the most fun when I'm faced with a real challenge, mm-hmm. It's no fun, you know, fighting against opponents who can't make me sweat just a little. It makes me feel kind of guilty, in fact. I like my foes to have a bit of gumption. So victory feels even sweeter, you mean? Exactly, I like a bit of challenge. The struggle is part, the struggle is part of the appeal when it comes to sports. You find struggling fun? Now you're starting to sound like a masochist. <laughs> well, you know what they say, no pain, no gain. If you aren't prepared to push yourself, you won't be able to reap any rewards. Life would be boring if any everything was just handed to us. The work's more important than the results. Though, of course, I'm very happy that I won and that you were around to watch me. Thank you, Iroki, for always rooting for me. I really do appreciate it. You're a great wingman and an, e you're a great wingman and an even better partner. No problem. I smile, touched by Hazel's sincerity. We are partners, like you said, so we want to be there for you. It seemed only fitting that I'd stop by to offer you some moral support before your tournament. I know how seriously you take tennis even though you might act to the contrary. It's important to you, isn't it? But of course, tennis is my passion. I love it a whole bunch. If I didn't, I wouldn't work at it so hard. I love the thrill I get from running around the court, especially when I'm not wearing anything under my skirt. It's really liberating. Of course, I should have known Hazel being the way she is, she would steer this heartfelt conversation into lewd territory. Very yabai! In that sense, Hazel's rather predictable, though she's predictable in an amusing way. I guess I'll take your word for it. Huh? Don't you want don't you ever want to give it a go at yourself it a go yourself, Hiroki? Going commando. 
Yeah, there's like no better feeling in the world than dashing through the tennis courts, racket in hand, anticipating a serve while the breeze blows against your thighs. It's my favorite sensation in the world wide world. In the whole wide world, world wide world. What the hell, Sleepy? You blind? It seems a real shame you've never had the chance to experience it for yourself. I think I'll pass on that if it's all the same to you. I don't need to strip off my, you know, underwear to have a good time. And nobody would want to see me in a tennis skirt. I don't think it'd suit me. I beg to differ. I think you'd look good in anything. Are you sure you're not just saying that? And as I'm saying this, I'm ending this video right here. Hopefully you like the video, subscribe, like, you know, you watch the video, you liked it. Actually liking it subscribing commenting down below other than that thank you for watching i'll be seeing you next episode of sakura succubus stay safe everybody